All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, a Brazilian butt lift is when a doctor removes excess fat from your abdomen, arms, inner thighs, love handles, or anywhere else and injects it into your butt. Um, the BBL not only slims down the area of the body where the fat was removed from, but also increases the sizes of your posterior, says Constantino Mendieta. That's the MD Fax Board certifi um, Certified Plastic Surgeons at um, For Beauty Aesthetics uh, Institute. Now, in the world of Facetune, uh, TikTok filters, Instagram influencers, it can be hard to discern what's real and what's carefully curated and perfectly edited online. Um, the, the popularity of social media in our world today can have a trickle-down effect on social norms. So when the appearances of celebrities such as the Kardashians, who take up our feeds, start to change um, societal standards, sometimes also then follow. Now, some have argued that people should be able to decide what beauty means for them, even if it means undergoing dangerous surgeries, such as the BBL. And today we're asking, is this a quest for beauty or is a sign of insecurity? That's the question. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 381 803 You can also tweet at us at Waysho Africa 1 with the hashtag Waysho. All right, so this conversation is actually very interesting. Me, uh -huh. if you leave me, I, I, I've said it several <laughs> times that after having baby, my belly did not come back to normal. So if I, <laughs> it's just that it's two things that worry me. I hate pain. Right. I hate, I can't stand any, I don't have threshold for pain. Like, like body pain. Uh -huh. No, I don't. That's why you can't see me fight anybody. Just I avoid everybody. So I can't do that. And again, uh, my skin is prone to scars. Yeah. You know, so I'm just thinking, is it worth the drama and all of that yeah. to go and do it? But in fairness, right, um, it might be an insecurity for me, my tummy, you know, because it's something that I know how my tummy was before oh, babies yeah. came. And, you know, sometimes I just wish I could have that because... God, Kuku no say for the for the worker we cropped up. <laughs> you know, you know when, when God knows you so well, oh that He just decides to say no. He decides to say no for life. He said, "This is my daughter. You must be holy." Because I would have been wearing crop top. Ah, no, no, no. I will flaunt it. I will say, "See my tummy, just <laughs> flat." You know. But I mean, that's like on a on a on a on a like a, a lighter note. But you see, um. Recent times, you know, we've been going on. It's just because of the elections that just took over the conversation. Mm -hmm. But there were recent deaths that happened. Yeah. And you know, funny thing is, I was watching one documentary on botched um, surgeries. Uh -huh. And they said the most dangerous surgery mm -hmm. amongst all of these body enhancement surgeries is actually this bot lift. Okay. Because mm -hmm. this, um, from the research, the doctors were saying that the veins that th travel on our bottom, okay. it's actually very thin. Mm -hmm. That's so when they are injecting those fats, if they mistakenly inject it, so that's why it's almost an instant death yes. oh on, the de on the surgery bed. Yeah. So that's why we don't get a lot of this death happening, right? See the young girl that she was so pretty. I kept on asking, what was she looking for? So that's why the question of, is it a beauty thing that you want to look a lot more beautiful? Or this is actually a real deep seated insecurity that, you know, we need to start to deal with from the root. Who wants to go first? Okay, um, like I was saying backstage, right? I feel like it could be both ways. It could be insecurity, and it could also be for maybe just to enhance my beauty. It's just like wearing makeup. I can't say because I'm wearing makeup, I'm insecure about my face or how I look. I just want to look more beautiful. But then it could also be insecurity. For instance, you're trying to like cover up some scars here and there. You don't want people to see it. Mm -hmm. But however, most people, especially Lagos babes, there's no lie. Most of them, they just use it to get attention. Because there's a notion that Lagos men like Big Bum Bum, right? So they use it to get attention from these men, which I don't think it makes any literal sense. Like you rightly said, when you embrace yourself just the way you are, I think that's a step ahead to making, I mean, to actually being a better person. Because if you can't accept yourself, I don't think anybody else would accept you. You need to first do the acceptance. Regardless of what you get, Regardless of, because, I mean, there's no perfect person. Mm. That's the truth. Everybody has one part of them that they probably don't really like. I have a part of my body that I really don't like, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go and alter it. No. I will just have to come into that acceptance that, look, 
this is just the way my body is. Mm -hmm. I need to accept it. So I need to be able to work accordingly to how my, for instance, if I have a big stomach, I should not be wearing a fitted dress. I have no business in that line. That's what <laughs> body shaming it's just knowing how you look mm. right and dressing, and dressing accordingly. Up, up appropriately to I mean, your body structure so you don't look funny do you mm. want to look like winnie the pool mm. <laughs> you wear crop top and you have a big stomach and then you're not looking very funny you yourself because first the first point of confidence as a human being is how you look mm. if you don't look good you won't feel confident at all you will just you will just be you there hiding in, in one room. corner do yeah. you get but when you look so good and then you're getting compliments from left and right ah we work with your head so high and then you just be going one one like that you get so i mean you should i feel like the first problem is girls well, we're talking about women now right so women want to most ladies want to do what is trendy right for instance in fashion they want to wear what is trendy now if they cannot wear what is trending because of their body size or because of their body type they go ahead to enhance the body, make it look a certain type so of way. you put yourself under. They don't pay. think about all of these mm -hmm. things. They just think about, ah, me, I want to do this. They don't, I mean, there's nobody that will see death and say, okay, that's where I'm going to. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. It just happens sometimes that they eventually die, which is very sad, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like, I, I am of the opinion that if you are um, getting your body done just to feel better about yourself, I don't think that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a bad thing because I would want to feel better about myself if I'm going somewhere. So I would like to wear makeup hmm. so i just that's my opinion. okay okay i don't know why there are only two reasons in this topic because there are, there are other several reasons. other reasons okay tell us now investments for some people it is investment mm -hmm. it's also that because they have to look that way to attract a certain kind of people so if they don't look that way they feel like those kind of people will not come to them another reason is status because, I mean, even abroad, it's almost like, see Black China, see Nicki Minaj, see Cardi B. So it's almost like when you get, even Beyonce, mm -hmm. when you get, when you are there, that fame, and when you have that fame, the next thing for you to do is to go and get your body done so that you can look a certain type of way. You can have that hourglass uh, figure. Beyonce did her body. Yes, she of did. Of course she did. Oh my God. So <laughs> I, that's the thing that's, that's happening in Nigeria now. So once you are a celebrity, you want to look a certain type of way, you want to have the hourglass figure, so... You then go ahead and do a liposuction, you do a BBL, you do breast augmentation. So these are the two reasons that I think we left out. So people do these things. So well. it's investment. Yes. So I've heard this argument that a lot of these girls that do it. <laughs> <laughs> <Let me pass. laughs> I've heard the argument that people that do these things are, you know, core girls. Mm. That they actually are like, you know, high profile. Of course. Um, would I call them? Scots. Escorts, uh -huh. Uh -huh. let's leave it like that, yeah. right? High profile escorts that you know, is this does this have any element of truth in it? Most definitely, it does. I think it does, but then again, I think that men are coming to the realization that look, it's not all that. I've been in certain gatherings, and then some guys are like, I don't really, I mean, for aesthetics, they would like to go with a girl that has you no know, big bum bum and all those fancy stuff, but in reality, they want it all natural, like, come as you are. But the thing again is, I don't know why girls are doing it because of men. It's I think because that's my of problem. them, because they, they will look. Of course. They will they look. They will look. look. <laughs> they will look. <laughs> Let me hear. Um, okay, so I'm going to address um, one thing, and I felt like when you were speaking, you were kind of like contradicting yourself in the sense where you said, um, why would you have a big tummy and um, you wear body corn, you want to, or you wear a cropped up and you want to look like Winnie the Pooh. Now, statements like this um, is the reason why people feel insecure. Do you understand? Let me land. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they feel insecure and then they want to change some certain parts of their body because people are calling you out for these things. I know that... Um, you're supposed to dress according to your body type. Right. But then when you shame someone into dressing that particular way, then you're not doing it the right way. People want to change themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I posted on my story a few days ago how I was saying, you would never catch me doing packing my hair up like this. It was recently I started doing this. Mm -hmm. Now, right from secondary school, primary school to uni, because I have this flat head, which I got from my father. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've been very insecure about right, it. Yeah. I can't do... You have um, all back, 
right now. I can't do it. I also have a flat head, by the way. But, but then, I'm like, you don't have okay. a problem. Do you understand? But I had a problem with it. Do you understand? Yeah. And kids made fun of me in school. Mm. I posted on my story, yes, and people were, oh, I said, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not posting it. this mm. because I want you to tell me, oh, don't worry, you're beautiful. Mm. Forget it. I know I'm beautiful. I'm drop dead gorgeous. Ooh, right. Don't know about do you get it? <laughs> but I said, I had to tell them, see, I'm saying this because I feel like there are a lot of people who are insecure about themselves in some True. certain areas. I don't think I've ever met anybody in this life that isn't insecure about a Something. certain part of, of their body. The people I meet, I'm like, you're so beautiful. So what's the problem? Oh, I have short fingers. Mm. And I'm like, oh. And they're like, oh, if I can stretch it. Okay, I get it. I mean, I'm, I'm a tall woman. I'm 6'2". But guess what? People have made fun of me for being too tall. For being very tall. Because, mm. I mean, how many tall women? All my life I've been tall. Right from primary school, I've been tall. I've always been the tallest. So... Growing up, when I'm thinking about it, sometimes I used to wish I was shorter. Mm -hmm. Until my pastor's wife called me and she said, oh, she heard that I'm insecure about my height. Mm -hmm. And I said yes, because I started dressing like a tomboy because I felt, oh, if I looked boyish, people won't pay attention to the fact that, yeah. oh, I'm a yeah. woman that is that tall. Mm -hmm. And then she called my attention to it and she said, oh, you're black, you're very beautiful, you're smart, you're intelligent. What else are you looking for? Mm. And I was looking at her. She broke it down. See, I stood in her office and I cried. Mm. And that was the end. When I came out of her office, she told me, Walk with your head see, high. From that day, when people meet me, people keep mm. telling me now, anytime you see Jennifer, I've heard it like this. I said, sorry, <laughs> it started from then. Do you understand? She yeah. changed my mindset about that and I was able to accept mm. my height. Now, did I have other insecurities? Definitely. I'm tall. Um, I, see, I don't tell people about my shoe size, but <laughs> my feet very big. <laughs> my sister, I saw very big. <laughs> <laughs> now, when people start looking at my feet, I'll have to hide it. Mm. Because now I'm like, why are you paying so much attention, attention to that? Now, when it comes to BBL, I know that people want to alter their bodies. People want to change their bodies. And people do it for different reasons. True. People do it because they're very insecure. And some people that you meet, you feel like, ah, but your body is okay. But to them, it's not. It's not. Mm -hmm. Body dysmorphia is a thing. Mm -hmm. You look at yourself in the mirror. There are people who tell you, I, I know a very beautiful girl. She said, oh, she didn't, she woke up feeling ugly today. Mm. And I'm like, why? She, also, she just looks in the mirror that she hasn't been feeling beautiful. A compliment you could a compliment at that point like i ah, know you look awesome your days but i i i, I kind of like understood where, she was, where she was coming from the same as makeup you have very beautiful girls that you feel like oh when you put on heavy makeup it makes you look worse than, than you, you actually, actually look, do yeah but then because the makeup will make her look beautiful she would wear makeup from morning till night the only mm -hmm. time she removed that makeup is when she's she about to sleep, sleep. When she wakes up I the next day, like that. the makeup is yes. on. So there are some people that you would never see. Even I go to the gym and I see girls that wear early in the morning. Makeup there is vision. foundation on their face <laughs> at the gym. That's their level. And do you understand? That's another level. Girls wear wigs, their bones straight. Yeah. They wear it to the yeah, gym. Never and understand so that. I, I never understood it. But every time I try to question that. I want to ask myself, mm. are there not things that you yeah. do yeah. to hide some certain parts of yourself? No, insecure about so, so when I when I see things like that, I have to call myself to other like, okay, I can't judge you. Now, my only problem with BBL is the fact that it never stops at one. Yeah. Do you understand? It's like you're never satisfied. True. And like you're saying, being content, you have to be content. You have to love yourself. Now, loving yourself and doing things to enhance your beauty doesn't mean that you don't love yourself. True. But you need to get to the point where external factors are not affecting the way so, you see yourself. I want to ask a question. Because you see, this thing is a big deal. And I think why it's even getting a lot more worse mm -hmm. is the movie industry. Yeah. There's hardly any celebrity <laughs> now. You know, it's only very few ones like maybe Kate Henshaw and all that, that you see that, okay, yeah. they are completely out of all that yeah. drama of um, BB. Well, most of the celebrities, I've heard people say that they didn't give them the role because of their body type. They were looking for a certain kind of body type. Yeah. And you, you, you know, check, you know, at some point, I mean, when Inedo did her body, mm -hmm. people just say, why did she do it? She, and Inedo had the perfect yeah, bum bum. Like, really even the way we get, like, go oh, turn back, look, say, ah-ah, uh -uh, mm -hmm. it's set. You know, look like Chinelo so. You know, <laughs> just that unfortunately you cannot see it. No, I no. have to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to see it 
menu, perfect hourglass, ah. natural. Oh. You know, so I mean, he never had the perfect body. So, where, what would have caused it that you got to that level where everybody? Mm. So it's almost now very. It's so now it's worrisome for me now because I'm seeing. Look at what Black China said at 19. And you know, then it was even worse because yes. it was silicon they were putting. Yes. So it was the Kardashians, and I'm bringing it back. They were the ones that now said, you remember that there was... Because my sister used to follow that Keeping Up With The Kardashians so faithfully. Yeah. So because of that, I didn't have a choice. If she's watching it, I'll be watching it with her. Watch, yeah. There was a particular episode. I can never forget that episode. They sat in front of a photocopier. Like uh, on the, yeah, on the yeah, photocopier. Yeah, yeah, and they were trying to scan... That episode. Yeah, they were scanning their bonbon just to prove that there were no implants. Nobody knew then that I it wasn't know. implant that they were doing. They were in moving fast, fast, fast so moving. Past the other Do you understand? Road. So it was the Kardashians that started this drama of, mm -hmm. um, what's it called, BBL. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because they had a fantastic reality show that was really the rave oh, of the but, moment and everything. Yeah. Now, where is Kim Kardashian? She has gone back to Lekwa. She's now Do you understand? Skinny. So everybody is now taking... The other lady, in, there was one rapper's um, girlfriend in South Africa, one celebrity yeah. in South Africa yeah. too, that took out her, her implants. You know, so people are now beginning to take out their implants. So, so the point I am just trying to make is, first of all, do you know how many people that have died because of all of these things? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if it is a, if it is an insecurity matter, mm -hmm. why don't we find a solution to that insecurity? You know, because changing the look sometimes doesn't change anything. At all. You know why? If it did, they will not go back so, to their to their previous body. They won't. True. If it really, if it truly solves the problem. They will not decide that they want to it's go back to their... It's only a temporary solution yes, to a permanent a, problem. Yes, it, there is a deep-seated problem. Exactly. And exactly. you are trying to use... Yeah. It's okay, for instance, now, water. Uh. Your roof is leaking. And your POP is turning to brown. Instead of you to go and seal up the, 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 the leakage, the you, are, you are busy painting the <laughs> POP. It will keep on coming back. Of course. It, might, it, might, it might be white for a bit, uh -huh. but it will it's come back. back. So that's what I see this BBL as. A lot of women are insecure about their body. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. People want the chinelo shape, the perfect hourglass. I want the bum bum to be there, the hips to be there, the boobs to be there. But you know, the truth is we're all created differently. True. So there's a big insecurity. And again, so can we start to get movies, all these people? Because they are the ones that are the promoters of all of these things. Yeah. So imagine if they start to do a reversal. It would have a, comp a direct impact. On, yeah, because young girls will not see it now and say, I want to look like the person yes, I'm seeing on TV. Because yeah. they can see a Jennifer shape, they can see Dami shape, they can see your shape, they can see my shape, doing well. Yes. You know? But you know what, let's go on a quick break, because I like to open our phone lines. Uh, when we come back from the break, I would like to hear your thoughts, Jennifer. Because when you're smiling at <laughs> All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing BBL. The quest, is it a quest for beauty or a sign of insecurity? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Afco one with the hashtag Wayshow. Our phone line is now open. The number to call is 70 I particularly want to hear from the men. Because this big bomb bomb matter, they have they have directly, <laughs> uh, what's it called? They have accused you people that mm -hmm. you people. It is because of men that we, girls are going under the knives to go and do big bomb bomb. So I want to hear your thoughts now. That's the uh, the number to call. Please turn off the volume of your whatever device you're watching so we can hear ourselves and know have feedback. Yeah, you want to go to say something? Yeah. So um, there's something called um, pretty privilege. The same way um, bleaching. Bleaching was a pandemic. It's the same way BBL is now a pandemic because then it's like having a black skin wasn't exactly celebrated. Because when you go to a room and they're like ten black beautiful girls, once a light skin babe comes in, it's like everybody focuses their attention on the light skin babe. So because of that, a lot of people wanted to change their skin color. Mm. People wanted to just bleach. You hear things like, "I want to tone." Oh, you want to bleach? You want? To <laughs> I, want to, I want to turn up. I just want to. And a, a, a shade, a shade lighter. lighter. 
<laughs> you were bleaching, and that, that that's what it was. You and people wanted to, okay. and because you wanted to appeal, you wanted to appeal to a certain a certain oh, yes. um audience. Oh, yes. Even in even in uh music videos, um okay. the artists, you yes, realize yes, that yes. they started using a lot more white um white ladies. First of all, they used to bring white women all from the all the way from South I'm Africa or something. They would use them. <laughs> you know, they use light skin babes. You know what? Now, Jennifer, just hold that up because I, I want to. I like this your bleachy story, but let me quickly take so we don't lose our caller. Priscilla from Borno, I believe. Borno State. Thank you for calling. Hello. Hi, Priscilla. You're live. Okay. Good evening, ma. Good evening. Please, I love this your program. I'm a first time caller, ma. Oh, welcome. <laughs> I want to know the meaning of this GBL. Brazilian butt lift. So people that get bigger bum bum. Okay, okay, so thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. <laughs> Even me, I just learned the meaning today, so we are together. So, you see, this is your bleaching thing. I want you to continue the story. Yeah. But I want to say to you that the bleaching thing said is not really. Do you know the people that bleach the most in the world? Mm -mm. Koreans, all these Asians. Yeah, mm. That's why they have a lot of all these. Uh, That's why they have yeah, all those beauty, whitening, yeah, everything is yeah. whitening, whitening, yeah. whitening. Everyone wants to look like that. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Everyone, everyone, wanted to, everyone wanted to get light skin. Yeah. And now, because um, being thick is now a thing. Before yeah. growing up, it was being yes. lepa. Like, yes. 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 all, yes. um, ah, all the models, the super models, yeah. they were the figures. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you wanted to be slim. So the truth is, at the end of the day, you know, society changes. Yeah, mm. And then That's when you pander to men, it will never work for you because people's taste would always change. So now it's no, it's no more light skin. Do you understand? It is, it's like oh, accept your skin, your your skin color. Now you hear men that tell you oh, I don't I, I don't like um, big bum bum and this. It's because now a lot of them are, are seeing that some of these doctors are not doing a great job because the honest truth is when you talk to these men, you find out that some of them cannot even tell what is natural. What and what is what what has been done um, some by surgery? Can't tell, actually. As I said, some when they touch, yeah. do you get <laughs> some of them might not be able in to most tell cases, when they thought that they can't yeah. tell when they see. Sometimes they can't tell when they see. I'm telling you that some so can actually tell when okay. they see. Some can. That's why yeah. I said some. I didn't say all. Well, so okay. some of them, some of them can't even tell the Don't difference. Worry. When I do, do you it, understand? You know. So the same way, the same way people wanted light skin is the same way people are like, oh, be, the truth is. If there were slim women here mm -hmm. and one woman with hourglass shape comes in, everybody's like, wow. And that's the honest truth. Now, you are inclined subconsciously to look towards her direction and admire her. True. Do you understand? If she comes in with other slim women, like you will just focus on her first. Hey. And that's, God, and that's yeah. how that's how beauty is. That's how things. When a shiny thing comes in, everyone focuses on it because it's like, oh, so beautiful. It, I, I mean, I, I totally agree with you. Because opposed, when I walk into a room, that, because of my know, complexion. Yeah, yeah. But yes. Because of your complexion. Now, if you come in, even if I'm 100%, 1,001, I'm shiny, Jennifer Black, shiny, and you enter... No. People would shift. Will shift yeah. towards you. Yeah. True. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it's just oh, she looks different. Oh, she looks this, and everyone is focusing on you. After some few minutes, hey, hey, everybody will now calm down. Yeah. Hey, you were saying, do you understand? And because of things like that, like she had said that, um, it's because of status. Now, when you talked about movies, obviously, the people who are pro who are the people producing and directing these movies, they know who they are targeting, they know what they are selling. Mm -hmm. Now, these things. But you know, my pastor has always preached this thing, and if you go and check it, and it's the truth, he said sex sells. So, if they want to sell toothpaste, say mm -hmm. tomorrow, they will see the sign of two people trying to kiss. Fresh mm. breath. They want fresh breath. You know, anything they want to sell, they put man sexual and woman. They, they 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 put sexual content in them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you know. That idea, mm -hmm. you know, before the kinds of ladies we used to see in those kind of figures, where if you were watching X rated movies, mm. then when the Kardashians started their, their <laughs> a reality TV show, and you know, you know, you know, you know, it was a subtle introduction, mm -hmm. so it was they were warming us up into the Jumping. idea that you know, so one day you just saw two thin legs I and just saw Pam like this. <laughs> You know, like and it was not. I mean, <laughs> look at what um, uh, what's her name, uh, Chloe Kardashian did. Oh, when she did the revenge mm -hmm. body, mm -hmm. you know, you and, and and this is it. You don't see a lot of people deceiving people, slaving, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. some of these girls that go to do this butt thing, they mm -hmm. actually have perfect shapes. Mm -hmm. I know someone that has a bum, you know, this kind of cute bum, mm -hmm. and she has bum, which is slim, cute. But now it, it's like I need to use two hands. <laughs> 
I need to use two hands to lift the bomb up. Ah, ah. You know, so like I'm even wondering that is this thing not is it even safe? You know, so but so how do we deal with the insecurity? Because yes, there are many reasons, status, but all of those things is still tied to as far as I'm concerned, it's still deep deep seated in the fact that if I look myself in the mirror. You know, I cannot give myself a compliment that I'm sexy and beautiful and all of that. Because what? I have allowed society to define what sexy means. Yeah. I've That's allowed society to do so. So how do we start to redefine those things? I think it's that is a person. Thing, no. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we say that. Is it personal? Because the personal thing. first of all, I think that we belong to a very gullible society. Yes. Because everybody is saying one thing. So you want to swerve towards that direction. I don't even think it makes any sense. Right? Like I said before, if you don't accept yourself first... Nobody will accept you. I said that, oh, I have a flat face like a Chinese. Great. Wow. I said that I have a flat head. Great. I, accept yourself the way you are first. I think that's the first point. Once you accept yourself, every other thing will work for you. Because, okay, I don't have, I, I'm not a figure eight. I don't have a very big bum bum. Who says I cannot be sexy? Like I said, dressing, like what you were saying, contradicting myself. I mean, I got your point very clearly. But then again, I won't walk up to someone who has a big stomach and say, why do you have a big stomach or shame you for having a big stomach? I am just saying that, you know what, for you to I feel very it. pretty, well, is in my mind anyway, but then for you to feel very pretty with yourself, I think that you should just appear according to how your body type is so that it will make a lot more sense I think for you, you have, seeing yeah. yourself. I think we have a caller from, oh, from the US. Okay, hi, SA. Oh, that's our hi, first caller from the US. Hi, everyone. Hi. hi. Thank you, ladies, for all that you're doing. I will be very brief. I would, um, I would like if you would use your program to educate the younger babies, because this thing is becoming, you know, kind of out of control. Mm -hmm. It's very addictive. It becomes very addictive. So you have uh, Kim Kardashian has suddenly gone back to her normal um, body, body. Or her normal shape, whereas a lot of people have spent money putting this thing in and she just goes up because she can afford it. A lot of these younger ladies don't know what they're going through or what they're putting themselves into. Absolutely. I say, I, I, and you know, see, hey, hey God help us. This thing is not particularly cheap. Oh. It's not. Do you understand? So that's why when Chinelo said it's an investment, it's truly an investment it because you would have calculated it. Yes. You know, so. and the kind of stories I've heard about this thing, it just makes me wonder. Now you want to sell clothes on Instagram, you first of all go and do your body. You know, yes, so. so that when you start to advertise the cloth, then it's not become a, a case of what I ordered versus what I got. By the time you are now wet, I'm like, why is it not sitting on my body the way it was sitting on? <laughs> why is it even just that? Shoes. People that are now coming to sell slimming tea, slimming tea and sell all those funny no. things to, to us and wait gain syrup. And when I saw that gain syrup, I was like, are you joking with me now? You've done your body, then you come on Instagram and say, oh, I am, I'm an ambassador of XYZ brand, is and it, I use the weight gain syrup, and that's why I look this way. Guy, Is the people on. that are following them that I blame? Because how can you see something very clearly, yeah. and then you just go and trick your head? No, I mean... You know what? I, I will lie to you. Um, watching what you eat, going to the gym to work out, is, is difficult. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not like you're going to see transformation in, immediately, in, immediately mm -hmm. in the next three months, six months, no. But you would see the progress. True. And when you do things like that, when you work out and you see the amount of effort that you're putting into it and you start to see results, you'll be proud of yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when it comes to insecurity and doing your body, I know I spoke to someone who did her body and I, the first question I asked her was, oh, so how do you feel, feel now? Mm -hmm. And she says, oh, that she doesn't feel different. Mm -hmm. And she's still working around loving her, her body and oh herself. My God. And I said, oh, I was like, wow, interesting. And I was very happy that she was able to open up and yeah. say that. The yeah. truth. Because a lot of people won't say of that course. to you. And I just gave her a word of advice. I'm like, see, just keep looking at yourself in the morning and keep telling yourself that you are beautiful. You have done it, you have done it. You can never take it back. If you decide to change it and remove it, not a problem. But you need to accept. The first step is accepting yourself for who you are, loving all of you, even the smallest thing. If you I look catch at anybody yourself, tell me that you have big tummy, you look at, you'll be in look at yourself and say, <laughs> I, I am beautiful. Yes, because 
someone else is looking at you and they wish to be they can be are. like you mm. do you understand like I, I can't remember who i was telling and i was like oh that she was like oh are you intentionally losing weight i said i'm not losing weight though that baby is the top i'm wearing she said, oh, that looks like you've lost weight i'm like Mm-mm. because this morning when i woke up and i looked at myself i said ah jennifer yeah i didn't need to and you're working out and i realized that oh i've been eating a lot of sweet i've been eating a lot of junk so obviously my fat to muscle ratio would be like this mm. so I'm, she was just like no you look like uh. so you can see that what she's seeing is different and what i'm From saying i'm totally different <laughs> but then what matters is but i don't love myself less how you feel mm. it's how you feel okay so now let me talk let me it's give you an example feel. and i'm going to be very honest with you from the point where i realized i had big boobs right i've always wanted a breast augmentation mm. for several reasons i i tell her all the time i when there are certain kind of dresses i want to wear and that's because even at times when I wear a strapless, but I just feel like it's mm. not, not old as enough. firm as, you know, a... When I see people that have smaller boobs, I admire mm-hmm. them in certain dresses, right? But I can't relate. So if you leave me at some point in my life, I'm probably going to consider that. Don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> Do not try it. Yes, you know, no, 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 no. Don't support it. No, she can reduce the bread, but not the bread. Our fellow Agbalima, don't try it. Because, see, let me tell you something. Okay, so my mom is very... I don't think your boobs are as big as my mom's. Right. My mom is heavily chested. My sisters have... I said, oh, God, wait, wait, what did I do? <laughs> bum, bum, you don't give me. <laughs> don't give me, like... So, I, I mean, like, the truth is, right, um, if it's not hurting you, like, if you don't have any medical condition, you're not having back pain, I, I know at some point... Queen Latifah had to go because there are yes. no, there are some babes that you have. Jesus, even me when I see, it, I say, how do you carry it's this a thing? Lot. It's, it's a lot. lot. They are coming from chest. a lot. They are going through a lot. <laughs> you know, those ones are the ones that you can really say my full <laughs> chest. <laughs> so I mean, if if, it, if there are no medical reasons, mm. right? I don't see any reason because again, God wasn't stupid. He actually created us in different shapes and sizes. Of you course. understand? Yeah. The day the day I looked at my bum and I saw that ah, I said hey. <laughs> Because I didn't used to have anything. But all of a sudden, something is coming out. I say, okay, praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. But, but you see, um, if I had the opportunity mm-hmm. to do something that would, you know, give me back my tummy the way I was before babies, I don't mind, you know. Okay. But like you rightly said, it, I mean, and even S.A. said it, it's actually very addictive. That's the problem. The problem with surgery, right, is that today I will look at it, I will say, hmm. Okay, see the way my nose is bent. I think I can. Yeah, and because so. now you can afford it. Exactly. Yeah. So if you, you watch, if you watch all those mm. stories of all those botched, mm. go and watch them on um, on the, mm. uh, on, on E. e yeah. When you watch those, do we tell you it became an addiction? So mm-hmm. as little as this thing, okay, this is no straight. I want to go and do. They will break your bone to straighten. You know, they start to do all sorts of ridiculous. As in, if you see the kind of surgeries that I've seen, mm. you know. Someone says, oh, I don't like the way my tongue is looking. I want to split it into two and all of So there are so many crazy things that happen. So it's beyond. And that's why I'm saying that if we start to look at it from a place of teaching self-love, self-confidence, like me, eh? Hey, I have a question. the way I love myself, <laughs> you know, ah, go ahead with your question. Yeah. Um, so what I wanted to ask, I think I saw it sometime when someone asked the question and the person said, um, even for people who... Because sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to do BBL. I'm not like you. I love myself. But one small increase in your bum, you're like, oh, my God. Oh, Look so happy. Lovely. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, my dress looks <laughs> this, my this. Do you understand? Where do you draw the line? Because even the truth is even the gym babes, it's becoming a pandemic because now if you go on instagram or even youtube and you look at people who are gym babes who are working out they talk about oh, glutes. how to grow your bum mm-hmm. how to grow your bum in how many months mm-hmm. how do this for your bum for for your bum to go for Sports. you to look thicker mm-hmm. for you to look this because it's a problem yeah do you understand agree, because yeah. even those who are going to gym those of us who are going to the gym once we see one increase we're like oh my god do you, you, you want to squat more you want to do this what, what should that eat what should that so it's it, 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 that different so there are I different do. layers yeah. to this yeah. thing yeah. so yeah. when you i know, saw I that question me, even me fear. i didn't you're I knew quick. the answer, mm. but I didn't want to answer because even me, I, I, I don't think I wanted to come to that realization. Uh, and mm. I knew that at that point, I was lying yeah, to myself. Exactly. So I completely <laughs> left the thoughts and focused on something else because am I ready to come to terms 
with the answer to mm. that. Mm. A lot of people are not. Mm. Both those who are doing their bodies and those who Even are not, those gym. who are kicking against it. Even, Even those the in gym. the gym. <laughs> when I started squatting, I said, boom, 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 squat continues. Exactly. You know what is going on? on. <laughs> I'm, that's I'm saying that. You see, these things actually, so that's why I said that. You know, because there are levels to the thing. The reason I have not gone under the knife, and I've told you people, is two things. The thing is too expensive. And I don't like scars, I don't like pain. You know, when I look at the money, I will now carry four million and go and do ah, that's, ah. When I, that's, that, that can, that can solve a lot of problems for me. It. You know, so it, it doesn't make sense to me that I spend that much money. And it's not like it's an investment for me. I don't get yeah. any issue by that way. We go replace the money back. You know, I, I mean, like, so those things for me, like, I just look at it. So at some point, I actually. You know, started falling in love with my body. Mm -hmm. So at home, I actually, if I'm alone in the house, I walk naked. Mm -hmm. I wear sexy lingeries. I just look nice. I just, okay, you know what? Just keep loving your body. And guess what? The more I love my body, mm -hmm. the more I'm not getting compliments. Oh, you look nice. You look yeah. this. You look that. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. It, my tummy was an insecurity. It was an insecurity for me because I didn't used to have anything. You know, you now have a baby mm -hmm. and stretch marks, all of those things, which has, you know. I know. But hey, let us own it all. Sometimes when I see people even post on Instagram, or they are wrinkled tummy, yeah. I say, ah, this guy, you get the liver. I don't feel post my belly for Instagram because, do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, it's still, I'm not there yet. But imagine if we now have more people. The way, you know, because now what we are doing is that the, the BBL has outweighed, mm -hmm. you understand? So yeah. imagine if we start to flip the that. Way around, yeah. More people that are not yeah. into the BBL coming out to say, I love my yeah, body possibility. I love my body. Maybe we should start a campaign. I own it and all of that. Yeah. If we have more people do that, maybe, just maybe, we might start to get the insecurity level for people. It will reduce to the point where they are not thinking of surgery. Let's take comments quickly. Okay. Love yourself, people. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Honestly. So, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. BBL, quest for beauty or sign of insecurity. To me, it's the sign of insecurity and nothing more. I don't know if I'm right. It's like God is not happy with those who do these things. How can God bless you with so much beauty and use your hands to destroy it? That person is very ungrateful. God knew what he was doing when he gave you a particular shape and size of butt. Then why change it? People should stop deceiving themselves. They don't own they bleach. <laughs> nice to have my dear beautiful sister Dami back. Happy birthday to you, my dear beautiful sister Uti. Amazing lady. My name is Daniel Ilowe, regular fan. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so who who will we next? Jennifer. <laughs> ah, Tommy Lola wrote this song. <laughs> Tommy Lola, to me Lola. King T from Ifako Ijaye. I mm. greet you all wonderful and beautiful ladies in the studio. The late fella Anikola Pukutsi has said it all in his song. Yellow fever, you they bleach or you they bleach. Carry on. Um, yellow fever, just basically the song. I know they bleach yeah. oh, I know they bleach. <laughs> so the quest for beauty is a sign of insecurity. Mm. God created us beautiful in his own image. If you try to alter your body to recreate it, it's saying God has not created you well enough. You need to accept the way God has created you and give glory to him all your days. The men folks too are not helping the matter. Most men like light skin babes. With God... With good endowment back and front. Oh, oh. And the women know this, so they do anything to attract the men. Oh. The women folks should all just accept themselves the way Baba God has created them. All is well. So if men like mad women, we will go and be mad. I, this is my own problem. Why should a lady engage in what is not real and still expect a real man? Oh. Whatever is not genuine will not be sustainable in the grand scheme of things. Nobody wants to order a shadow of what they want or slash need self-love needs to be taught from elementary school levels um elementary levels in school thank you so much uh, i don't know your name you didn't put your name so i mean this is very interesting but i think i love this conversation yeah. yep. we started the conversation maybe we'll start a campaign you know just in case you see my tummy on social media <laughs> <laughs> but hey i think we should just get to that point where i mean if you're doing things right eat healthy live healthy and all of that don't be too excessive you know there are some people that really for health reasons they have to do some of these things uh -huh. right it's not even it's, it's a matter of life and, and death, death yes. right um so if your case is not a matter of life and death you know think through the process again do i really want to start this because once you start it because now i hear that they go do but um, bum bum adjustment appointment. Touch up. yeah touch up. yeah ha. it's a okay. thing it's a serious thing 
problem. No, we love finish. yourselves. I think we need, I just, keep, need, to, we need yeah. to keep preaching about yeah. body positivity. Absolutely. And please stop doing things for men. Mm. My point exactly. The, I truth, the, honest, the tr honest truth is the man that you're trying to change your body for, he will cheat on you. He will leave you. What? He, he will, will just... So it's like... Shut because bad things bad are going bad to happen. Bad I mean, when, when Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce... Nobody expected it, but everyone said a whole Beyonce. I said, why not Beyonce? Great. Do you understand? She's a woman like you, and things will happen. Taste will change. The same way you liked Goldie Moon when you were small, and now you can't even stand the taste. It's the same way people's taste will change. Love yourself for who you are. Ah, okay. I don't change yourself for anybody. So on, that note, well, on that note, that on that note, <laughs> I also think that altering your body is a very major altercation for, I mean, for a human being. Because mm. truthfully, apart from other people's taste changing, your own taste can change. I might get my body done today, and then in the next five years, and after I, I, I mean, mm. so what will happen in that case? They have finished this for us. Before we go, <laughs> thank you, ladies. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Damilola. Thank you, Chinelo. Hi. Man, people have suffered. <laughs> Ensure you follow us across all our social media handles. At Way Show Africa, you can interact with us further, drop a comment, or more importantly, follow all our engagements, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. I shot a video immediately, and the first thing I said was, Don't get a BBL. Don't do it. Go to the gym. It's not worth it. This is from an anonymous source. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. So bring another great conversation to your screen. Bye. <laughs>